Hey guys, it's Arcade and I'm back with another video and in this one I'm gonna show you how to make beats like Drake and specifically like the song Money in the Grave but this also applies to other songs that he made so Money in the Grave is one of his recent songs and it has this like atmospheric hip-hop beat so that's what I'm gonna show you how to make and this video will have two parts one will be making the beat which will be this video and in the next one I'm actually going to be rapping over the beat and I'm gonna try to sound like Drake but yeah in this one I want to show you how to make the beat and this video is sponsored by Red Sounds and for this video they gave me their new sample pack Hip Hop Heavyweights and I gotta say it's a really cool sample pack for anyone that's making hip hop beats and as you can see you get tons of sounds and so for this tutorial I'm going to be using only the sounds from this pack to create this beat so yeah let's get to it so to start off the BPM is 101 and that can be kind of unusual for hip hop but this beat has that BPM and in hip hop you can really go with any BPM you want as long as it fits the flow of the rap or whatever then it's all good. So first let's start with the drum beat. So here's the drum beat, it's pretty much the same one as the one in Money in the Grave. It goes like this. So as you can see, one of the most basic drum beats in hip hop, we have the kick, which is this deep kick, this vinyl kick, which adds a little bit of top frequencies, and also this one, so that's the kick. As you can see in the second repetition, I only use the deep kick just to kind of differentiate between the main hit and the filler hit of the kick. And then we got the hi-hat. This hi-hat is actually from a Tri Samples sample packs which are free. So just a basic hi-hat plays in the beat the entire time. And then we have a snare. Also kind of a classic snare with a clap, snare, the 808 snare, and another clap. And so for the beat we have this type of rhythm. Then in the second repetition I add one more kick here. And in the fourth repetition we actually have a kick right here, which is kind of unusual, but it was like that in the track and I thought it sounded pretty cool, like it added some unexpected element to the beat. That's the drum beat, let's move on to the 808s. So for the bass I'm using the a preset, it's the bass 8087, sounds like this. And I lowered this because otherwise we would have a lot of punch. This way we have a little bit less punch. That's the bass, you can uh, play with the filters as well. If you want a more distorted bass or less distorted, just play with the filter. This is how I have it. And we only use one key throughout the entire song, which is A sharp. And here is how it sounds with the drum beat. As you can hear, it follows the same rhythm as the kick and in here, where we have the double kick, we also have the double bass. So yeah, every time the kick hits, the bass hits as well. It's also sidechained by the kick, so every time the kick hits, the volume of the 808 is lowered. We can see it clearly here. So the reason people do sign chaining is obviously so the kick and the bass don't collide with each other in the song. This way there is more space for the kick to come through. So if you don't know how to do sign chaining, it's really simple. Check out any tutorial on YouTube, it will explain it. Okay, now let's move on to the chords. So for the chords, I'm using this sound called Piano 4. And as I said, it's kind of a hybrid sound. I love these type of sounds. I can definitely recommend this pack to anyone that makes hip hop and the chords go like this. So we have the A4 playing throughout the whole chord progression. I wouldn't even call it a chord progression necessarily. It's more like a melody almost. It sounds like this. It's mostly just A4 and C and we play with the middle notes right here and it's kind of like a melody with those notes.
for the sound, I tweaked a few things. I made the attack higher, so we don't have like a stops. But the notes just kind of flow into it. For the effects on this sound, I have EQ, I deleted all the low frequencies, so they don't collide with the 808s or the kick, and just uh, adjusted the frequencies a little bit. I have quite a bit of reverb because I wanted the chords to just kind of go into each other. In the original Money in the Grave, the whole melody progression in the background is kind of going into each other. So to get that atmospheric effect, I use a bunch of reverb. I also have gross beat on it with the sidechain preset and I set it up like this and that pretty much just increases the attack even more. But I lower the volume so the sidechaining is not so obvious, it's just kind of there to make the sound a bit more subtle. Now let's move on to the melody. Again, all the sounds are kind of like pads and some whistly sounds because that really creates this atmospheric effect. So for the sounds I'm using three sounds here. Piano 2. Then this analog synth. and this pad. For the effects, they have the same effects as the chords, and here is how they sound with the chords. So as you can hear, they almost work like one sound, it's kind of combined together. So that's it for the intro of the song and once the beat hits with the drums and the 808s we actually change up the chords a little bit, we put them octave higher. So here is how I did that. I used the same sound, put the chords octave higher, but I layer it with another sound. So this is the chords, right? The same chords as before, just octave higher. You do that by pressing control and arrow up, you can put anything octave higher or lower with arrow down. So it's the same sound. And I lure it with this sound. But I tried to make it as subtle as possible. And for the effects I lowered like all the low frequencies, even the high frequencies to make it really subtle, otherwise it would sound like this. But with the effects just pretty quiet and subtle. I just wanted to add a little bit more color to the whole chord progression with that sound. So it sounds like this. Without it, it would be like this. So obviously it's, it adds a lot, but it's not too like in your face or whatever. So yeah, that's what changes in the, once the beat drops, we go octave higher. It's a classic move. A lot of people do it in their music. It gives you a sense of progression and the melody stays the same. So yeah, we got the chords, we got the chords octave higher, the melody, the 808s and the drums. And that's almost everything. One more thing I added are these filler hi-hats. Just kind of for uh, background noises. And also a little cheeky effect here with the gross beat when the chords are playing with the melody. reverse effect happening. The way you do that, I use gross beat with the basic 8 preset and that's basically the reverse effect, but you don't want this effect playing throughout the whole song. So I just automate this knob, which, uh, which is like drive wet knob for any plugin that's there. So I just make sure it's on zero throughout the whole song. Here's the automation. Whenever I want the effect, I just uh, increase it to 100 and then go back to zero right after. And hey guys, that is pretty much it for all the sounds. I know it's pretty simple. A lot of it has to do with good sound selection. That's why I'm really happy to be sponsored by Red Sounds in this video, because you can get some great sounds in this preset pack. And I gotta say, all of these sounds are like really useful for hip hop producers. They are not just random sounds or whatever. All of them were made with hip hop 
beads in mind. So yeah, check it out for yourself. Link will be below in the description. And now let's hear the finished result. And hey guys, that is pretty much it for this video. As I mentioned before, this is a kind of a remake of Money in the Grave by Drake. I'm gonna rap over this beat in the next video, so make sure to check that out. I'm gonna try to rap like Drake, add effects to my voice to sound like Drake. It might not work out, but, but I will try. Make sure to check out Red Sounds, link will be below in the description. And as always, thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.